I was a co-producer on a film, Spooner, which was directed by Drake Doremus and produced by Jonathan Schwartz. And that film premiered at Slam Dance. And I went out and bought a notebook on Main Street. I started jotting down notes and I started focusing on this idea for the documentary. And that was three years ago and it took three years to make the film, but I still have that notebook. My name is Marius Markavichis. I directed the film The Other Dream Team, which is premiering at the 2012 Sundance Film Festival in the U.S. Documentary Competition. My film follows the story of the Lithuanian national basketball team from the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona and follows the journey of, of four of the athletes who were on the 1988 gold medal winning team of the Soviet Union and then their journey from 88 to 92 when Lithuania got its independence and finally sent their first team as a free country to the Olympics, which was a huge huge thing and huge achievement and how much the world changed and what happened from 1988 from this gold medal to 1992 when Lithuania won a bronze medal for its own country and, and how that bronze medal was ultimately more sweet than the gold medal. Basketball in Lithuania is similar to soccer in Brazil. Literally basketball is like a religion out there. Basketball is always intertwined with their independence movement, with their cultural identity. During Soviet times, you weren't allowed to have a Lithuanian flag. The Soviet Union tried to suppress everything that was Lithuanian, except they couldn't suppress basketball. My background is Lithuanian. I'm 100% I'm Lithuanian. My parents, grandparents are, are from Lithuania. My parents, as young children, uh, left during the Soviet occupation. A long time I was trying to decide between projects. I dug deep, and, and this subject about Lithuania, it's like literally in my blood, and it really was what I was most passionate about. I never thought I'd be a documentary filmmaker, really. I, I, thought I would always be on the narrative side, but when I laid it all out and I saw, you know, what my passions are, Lithuania, basketball, it was quite a great experience making this film and connecting all of those passions together. An amazing and unique part of the story was the connection with the Grateful Dead. In 1991, when Lithuania was trying to put together their first Olympic team, they had no money. It was a new country. They were basically broke. And the Grateful Dead heard of, of their plight, so they made a, a financial donation but more importantly, they, they helped create this tie-dyed dunking skeleton t-shirt that said Lithuania and these bright colors and they're Lithuania's colors. These guys wore them everywhere to shoot arounds, to press things. They became known as like Team Tie-Dye or Grateful Dead Freedom Team. And it created a sensation. And our film covers a lot about the lifestyle of living behind the Iron Curtain, the way athletes had to live. They won the gold medal. They were star athletes, but they were paid the same money as a factory worker. So they were making, you know, the equivalent of $100 a month. One of our athletes, Arvidas Sabonis, was drafted by the NBA in 1986. I asked him how he felt about that, and he said, what do you mean, I felt nothing. Someone told me that some team far away wanted me, and I knew that I could never go. What an unbelievable stark contrast that was from, like, Magic Johnson or Michael Jordan. 20 years later, after Lithuania got its independence, which is where we are now, to see how far they've come in that time, I think it's really a great example to the countries in the Middle East, Libya, Egypt, who are going through it right now. And I think in, you know, in 20 years, we'll probably hear and see some amazing stories coming out of those countries. People can, can watch this film um, around the world and, and be inspired by you know, the, the fight for freedom, uh, the fight for free will, and to fight, the fight to make your own choices and decisions.